Good day students, welcome to mathgodserve.com. In this clip, we're going to be taking a look at how to find angles using the triangle angle sum theorem. All right, the question instructions for the examples that we are going to look at is as follows. We are to find the measure of each angle of the given triangles and classify the triangle using the angles found. All right, so let's take a look at uh, question number one. Let's say we have this triangle right here. Let's say it's triangle ABC, okay? And the measure of uh, the angles are given by the following expressions. Angle A is x plus 20. Angle B is um, 3x minus 55. And then angle C is 2x plus 5. All right, so let's go ahead and um, find the measure of each angle. Now, in order to do that, let's go ahead and outline the steps that we're going to use for the problem solving process. So the steps are as follows. So what we're going to do first is we're going to find x, okay? Find x, the variable x. You notice the angles are all dependent on x, right? So find x using the triangle angle sum theorem. Triangle angle sum theorem. All right. And then when you're done with that, you're going to then use that value of x you found to find all angles. Find the measure of all angles. Okay. And now after finding the measure of all the angles, you can now classify. Okay. So you're going to classify, classify the triangle um, by its angles. So how do we do that? Uh, let's go ahead and go over that real quick. Now, if all the angles are less than 90 degrees, guess what? It's called an acute triangle. All right, just like an acute angle is less than 90. Uh, now, a special case of the acute triangle is if all the angles are congruent, okay? If all the angles are congruent, okay, normally they're equal to 60 degrees. In that case, you have an equiangular triangle, okay? Equiangular. Basically, all the angles are the same. You could call it a, a, acute equiangular or just equiangular, all right? And then now, uh, next case if, is if one of the angles is equal to 90 degrees, guess what? That's called a right triangle. Right triangle. And then lastly, if one angle is greater than 90, then it's automatically an obtuse triangle. All right, so these are the classifications we're going to be using for this example. All right, so let's go back to the triangle. We're going to go ahead and go to step one, which is to find the value of x. Now, to do that, we're going to use the triangle angle sum theorem, which basically states that the sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. So let's go ahead and write that down. Measure of angle A plus measure of angle B plus measure of angle C. Uh, is 180 degrees. Okay, don't forget, this is a triangle angle sum theorem. All right, so now we're going to carry out the substitution of the measures of angle A, B, and C. So measure of angle A is x plus 20. Measure of angle B is 3x minus 55. Measure of angle C is 2x plus 5. All that together is 180. Okay, so we have an algebraic equation. This is a three step algebraic equation that we are going to solve for x to complete step one. We're going to start off by combining like terms x, 3x, and 2x are all linear terms, they're like terms. In the variable x of first degree, if we add them all together, we get 6x. All right, and then when we combine the constants, 20 minus 55 plus 5, just the same thing as 25 um, minus 25 minus 
of 25 minus 55, carry out that subtraction right there, you get 30, negative 30. So minus 30 equals 180, okay? So now as a two-step algebraic equation, we're just gonna add, 60 to both, uh, add 30 to both sides and divide by six and we'll be done, okay? So add 30 to both sides of the equation. If we do that, that's gonna yield um, so this adds up to zero, right? We have 6x equals 210. And then to finish it off, we just simply divide by 6, divide both sides by 6. And that gives us our final answer. Uh, x is equal to um, 35. So are we done with the problem? Absolutely not. We're asked to find a measure of the angles and then classify, right? So we just found the value of x. Now we've got to find the measure of the angles. So let's start with the measure of angle A. So the measure of angle A is x plus 20. So we're going to substitute x equals 35 in this expression. So we have 35 plus 20, and that's 55 degrees. Measure of angle B. Measure of angle B is 3x minus 55. Okay, we're going to substitute um, x in there. So we have 3 times 35, the value of x that we found, minus 55. All right, and we just use PEMDAS to finish it off, minus uh, 55. So if you carry out the subtraction, um, 35 times 3 is 105. So we have 105 minus 55. And that's 50 degrees. So the measure of angle B is 50 degrees. Bam. And then measure of angle C, to find that, we're going to compute. Uh, we're going to evaluate the expression 2x plus 5 at x equals 35. All right, so plug that in. We have 2 times 35, the answer we got earlier, for x plus 5. Applying PEMDAS, order of operations, multiply first and then add. 2 times 35 is 70 plus 5. That's a 75 degrees. Okay, so based on these measures, um, how can we classify this particular triangle? This triangle is an acute triangle. How do we know it's an acute triangle? It's an acute triangle because all the angles are what? less than 60 degrees, okay? So let's go ahead and write that, write that classification down. Um, triangle ABC, triangle ABC is an acute triangle. Why? Since all the angles Angles measure less than 90 degrees. That automatically qualifies it as an acute triangle. All right, so there goes our answers, 55, uh, 50, and 75. And then the classification is an acute triangle. All right, let's take a look at question two. Same uh, set of instructions. We define the measure of each angle um, and then classify the triangle using the angles. All right, so let's go ahead and do this one right here. Okay, so uh, to get us started, step number one is to use the triangle angle sum theorem to find the measure of, um, to find the value of x. So the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle C. Do you remember what that is? The sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. That's the triangle angle sum theorem, okay? So let's plug in the values um, of each angle into this equation right here. Measure of angle A is x plus 67. Measure of angle B is 40. Measure of angle C is x plus 75. And that's equal 180, okay? Now, this is another three-step algebraic equation like we did earlier. First step here is to combine like terms. So we have the linear terms x and x.
combine those two together, that yields 2x. Okay, just remember there's a coefficient here, the invisible coefficient of 1 anytime you don't have a visible coefficient. All right? And then uh, we're going to then go ahead and combine the constant terms, 65 plus 40 plus 75. If we add those all together, we get 182. Okay, that's equal to 180. Now, as a two-step algebraic equation, we're going to subtract 182 from both sides and divide by 2. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Subtract 182 from both sides. That will result in the elimination of the constant from the left side of the equation, right? And then we have um, 2x equals 180 minus 182, negative 2. Divide both sides by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2. And then you have x equals negative 1. Okay? So we're done with the first step. Now we're going to go ahead and find, um, we're going to find the measure of all the angles. Okay? All right. So we're going to start with what we already know. If you look at this particular problem, measure of angle B is a known measure. So measure of angle B is 40 degrees. We didn't have to find that. Measure of angle A is given by the expression x plus 67. So x is negative 1. So we just substitute that into this x value right here. So we have negative 1 plus 67. Negative 1 plus 67 is 66 degrees. OK? And the measure of angle C, that's x plus 75, the expression x plus 75. And then we're going to substitute negative 1 here. All right, and then simplify that. Uh, 74 degrees is the measure of angle C. Now, what type of triangle is this? Let's go ahead and classify this triangle. If you take a look at the angles that we have, you will notice that all the angles are what? They are, um, they are less than 60 degrees, uh, 90 degrees, right? So they're all less than 90 degrees. It's an acute triangle again. So triangle ABC is an acute triangle. Why? Uh, since all the angles, what? All the angles measure less than 90 degrees. Bam. Okay, so there you have it.